Got some wood here. We're about to get up top and reinforce that ceiling or the uh, roof there. And then we will get going on installing this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rebuild this one truss and uh, get that beefed up and then we're going to stab in a, or scab in a, uh, a replacement to kind of fortify that. And then they didn't have 3 8 OSB at the lumber yard I went to. This is 3 8 so I went ahead and got uh, sanded 3 8 plywood. That way I don't have to deal with any perfection. I think it'll be better for the rubber material, the EPDM that's going on the top. So that's what we're gonna put up there and that's where we're at. All right, so that's what this looks like. You can see where this is rotted out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a board. It'll go from here down to this healthy portion here. And um, I'll bring it over, slip it in, and I'll use this pre-existing one to make a template, right? So I'll have the right arch on it. And then I'm basically gonna just scab it in here to this healthy portion, tie it into this good wood here, and just leave it next to this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna cut that out. I may just spray some mold treatment on there and be done with it. So I'm gonna go cut that two by, and I'll bring it back up here, stencil it out using that as a template, and then uh, cut it to fit, and then we'll come back and install that thing. So that's what we're gonna do, and we'll see how it fits here in just a minute. All right, so we've cut this, um, and I have tapered it off to fit the curvature of uh, this other one. So that matches up within a sixteenth of an inch. It'll match up perfectly whenever I get done with it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna screw it into this top and bottom, back on this healthy wood. I'm gonna treat this with some anti-mold, mold killer, stuff like that. I'll tie it in up here into this wood. Believe it or not, this wood's actually good. It's got some discoloration, but it's not too bad. I think it's worth using. Um, yep. So once we do that, I'm going to go ahead and insulate this thing and then we're going to slap some wood up here and see what it looks like. So we're back up on the roof and we are going to, we're going to go ahead and get this, um, this truss supported and built back up so we can start putting some decking on here. I was thinking about leaving a little bit of this in here, but I think I'm going to cut out this bad spot just to make sure that that rot doesn't keep spreading. I don't know if it does that or not, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna cut out a little bit of this old stuff. We'll put this new piece in. And then I may, I'm considering, uh, I don't know, I may beef this up just a little bit. I don't wanna add too much weight, but I don't think it would hurt to add just a little bit of support back into this thing. So let's get some tools up here and see if we can get this thing done. All right, let's see if we can get this thing. I've got this piece scabbed in here now. Um, I cut off that rotten portion just to kind of clean it up a little bit. It wasn't supporting anything anyway, so um, we'll see. It feels it feels pretty solid. This isn't really load bearing, but I at least want it to have the structural support that it did before. And then I just tied this in down here. It's solid. Um, so we'll see, I'm gonna go inside and maybe take out a little bit of this paneling that's on the ceiling, and then we can take a look up underneath it and see what it looks like. If nothing else requires any repair on this section, let's go ahead and get a sheet of plywood up here. I'm gonna put some construction adhesive down on these trusses, and then we'll set it in place. Um, I'll probably, 
well, I'm not probably, I'm going to dry fit it first just to make sure everything fits okay. And then we'll throw some uh, adhesive on these boards and then we will stick it on there and go ahead and get that thing fixed and see what it looks like. I didn't go with OSB. I couldn't find any true 3 8 OSB in stock anywhere. And I didn't want the height, height difference to cause any issues, you know, in terms of water pooling up or whatever. So we found some 3 8 plywood that I'm just gonna work with and we'll see what that looks like. This is what the inside looks like. There's the piece that I put in. And then I've got um, this sheet of paneling terminates right here, obviously. Um, maybe not obviously, but it terminates right here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put another piece, maybe just like a, um, just a small little chunk. Let me see if I can get the light. I want this to come out a little bit so you can see here. I need the board to come out past this point so I'll have something to screw into or to um, staple into with the new paneling. So I'm gonna add a little piece on there. Basically that'll come out and kind of mirror what this is doing all the way across. So just something to support what I'm gonna be fixing this paneling to. I've got to figure out that sheet goes all the way over there. And it goes behind this slide here out to the other side. And then if you look this way, there's this partition that's in between the two. And then that sheet ends over here, which we have lights and air conditioner duct and all kinds of things. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do in terms of just cutting this thing off halfway through. Um, maybe where the next truss is, I don't know. So we'll start tearing that out. And this one's gonna have to come out also because it's got some rot on it. So um, we'll get that tore out as well. Yeah, and then see where we go from there. All right, I'm not sure um, exactly how I'm gonna cut all this out or what I need to cut out specifically. So what we're gonna do What we're going to do is um, I'm going to start cutting this out in sections and see if, uh, whoops, see if there's a point where I can get to the end of the rotten stuff without having to repl replace full sheets. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, and then we'll go from there. To it. I'm going to hop up top. Um, I'm going to work this multi tool around the edges to try to cut some of this loose and then we'll see what rot we have and what's salvageable, if anything, and then we'll go from there. So after a lot of debate and going back and forth, I think that I'm going to uh, just square this up and cut out that section where I can um, just cut one to fit and, and put it in there and then just trim it up. It'll look kind of awkward with trim going around, but that's just going to be the way it is. For me to get a full sheet in here, it's pretty much not going to work without just because of the dimensions. I mean, we're like right at four feet almost exactly. And none of it's going to line up on these trusses in terms of me being able to put it up there. So what I'm going to do for now is uh, just square this cut up. I'm not really going to worry about um, patching it right now. That'll come later. I'm trying to get this thing dried in so we can avoid any additional water damage. But um, the wood there's pretty good. I mean, it has a little bit of this coloration. Let me see. Um, from some of the previous water, but it's it's solid and 
as bad as the rest of it is, I'm not going to worry about it. I have been treating it, in case you're curious, with this Moldex mold killer. So it's supposed to prevent the growth of it, of mold and mildew. Clean, deodorize, disinfect, all that good stuff. Anyways, that's what I'm using. I'll put a link to it down below. But um, I'm treating anything that I'm not replacing that looks like it may have a little bit of mold, mildew, rot. Um, I guess I shouldn't say rot. If it's got rot or if it looks like rot, I'm replacing it. But uh, I haven't removed any of this stuff yet. And it's in bad shape, obviously. And a lot of it is going to get removed. However, I have been treating all of it just in case. You know, there's some of this that I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to replace that, but I have been treating it already. So hopefully that helps uh, keep this stuff from spreading. And um, I could be making a mistake with that. I hope not, but that's where we sit. So next step is getting out the pencil and the square and making some straight cuts on this. And um, man, I'm telling you, I haven't really used one of these multi tools a lot uh, in the past, but this thing is a game changer for me. I'll drop a link for it too. Let me tell you, it is handy. It cuts through wood, metal, all kinds of stuff. So if you need to run a straight cut next to a board uh, just to get something out and make it easy, I mean, I was able to zip right along that, no problem. A um, lot of control, easy to use. I don't know, I'm a big fan. So anyways, I'm gonna get to work. This is starting to sprinkle a little bit outside. So I wanna get um, this piece of decking on here. So that's what we got next.